Hello everybody, today we will be reviewing the Lone Star Discs Penny Putter. Let's jump right into it. As I mentioned in the intro, or before the intro, we are doing a review of the Lone Star Discs Penny Putter. I have it in three plastics. They currently produce it in four plastics. And so, anyway, we're going to go through the plastics. We got V1, which is their pliable putter plastic. You know, somewhat soft, not too soft, but not too stiff. We got Glow Plastic, which is Pretty reliable. Again, it's a little cold out here, so these should be a little, more, a little bit more pliable or soft in the hotter temperatures. But right now, it feels kind of like Champion wood, but it's also a little grip here in Champion. So then we got Bravo, which is kind of like Star or K1 Soft. I think it's K1 Soft. It's their it's Cast Plastics Premium uh, Star type plastic that's soft. And anyway. It's more flexible than the flow, a little bit, and uh, most of the time it's more stable. These two, are, these two, both fly basically the exact same. Dead straight, not really any fade, and this is in no wind thrown flat. Basically dead straight, you might see a little turn and then a little bit of fade. The flight numbers on the Penny Putter are a, for premium, is a 2302. I would rate it. A2 4.501. So, anyway, the premium plastic you should expect to go dead straight, while the baseline plastic you should expect to flip up. And if not, this one it just flips up, which I didn't get any throw with those. And this one just barrel rolls. And so, anyway, let's hand it, send it over right over to Editor Gabriel. Hello everyone, and today we will be doing a review of the Penny Putter. The flight numbers on the Penny Putter for premium plastics are a 3402. On base plastics are a 34 negative 11. My flight numbers are a 24.501 and for premium and then a base plastic 24.5 negative 121. Again, this putter is very neutral or straight. Um, in the premium plastics, they have Bravo, Alpha, and Glow, and then base plastics are V1 and V2. As you can see here, if you put it on hyzer, it'll kind of just have a slow drift to the left with, uh, with that one fade kicking in at the end of the flight. Here, I threw it lower on the same hyzer, and it kind of just sh showed a little less finish left. Here I throw a lot higher and as you can see flatter and it gets left more. Again this is right to left going back. Here I threw this pretty flat, relatively flat and it goes dead straight. This putter is very straight. However it is not torque resistant. Here I threw it a lot lower but on about the same line and it went dead straight as you can see. Great putter for that. Here I threw it just a bit higher and went flipped up a little bit and went dead straight. Here you can see I throw it flat and in this right to left wind it kind of turned it just a little bit. But anyway I finished straight. This one turned a little bit more because I got it higher with more power and as you can see it just finished relatively straight. Here you can also see the penny putter is great for turnovers as you can see you just put it on a little anhyzer and it will hold the angle. Here here's a higher example with more anhyzer and as you can see it just holds the angle the whole way. Here's a hyzer shot. As you can see, if you throw this disc on a certain angle, it will hold that angle the whole flight, if you don't torque it over. Here we got a right to left wind. This is at the house. As you can see, I threw it high and it kind of stalled out. The basket's right there by the tree. It's also a very great disc for approaches and is awesome for running shots. Another thing to mention about the penny putter is it is not very torque resistant at all. Hello everyone, and 
again, the penny putter is an awesome disc. If you throw it flat, it'll hold a straight line and just go dead straight. It might turn over if you torque over on it. Again, if you torque over on it, if you wobble it over or anything, or if you, you know, have sign on the zot power, I guess. Um, and then if you throw it on a hyzer line, it'll hold the hyzer. If you throw it on an anhyzer, it'll hold the anhyzer. It is an awesome disc for both approaches and tee shots, and I highly recommend this disc. It's also great for putting, and is my current putting putter. For putting, it is pretty straight, not very, you know, it doesn't go left or right very much, except at the end of the putt. And anyway, it's an awesome disc. If you guys have anything you'd like to see me change in my reviews or something you'd like to see me add, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And also, I will be doing a lot more reviews uh, coming up going forward in the channel. And so, not only on Lone Star Discs, like the Penny Putter, but also on other discs brands. And if Simon Lazat moves to MVP, I will be getting some of his discs and be showcasing them. And so, anyway... I've got a lot of good content moving forward. In the bag will come out probably sometime next week, maybe sooner, maybe later. Don't know yet. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day. See ya.